When is it time to become completely independent from your parents? Because if there's one topic that I will just get really mad at if my parents bring up, it's money. It's things like, well, you know, you should probably start paying for so-and-so. If my parents mention it, I just get upset. And I know that I'm fortunate enough to get money from my parents because I know that a lot of people, even if they're only 19 or 18, don't get money. You want to be independent. You want to be able to pay for everything. You hate asking your parents for money. When I am in serious need of money, I will wait to the last possible moment to ask my parents for money because I just don't want to. I don't want to put that stress on them. I don't want to seem like I'm incompetent and not able to support myself. Because when you get to a certain age, or when you move out of your parents' house, your mentality switches. You say, okay, it's time for me to start being an adult. It's time for me to start paying for all of the things. But for a lot of us who are in our early 20s or if we're still in school, this is, it's, it's almost completely impossible. <laughs> Especially if you're in school. If you go to a community college or if you go to a university or any kind of school where you have to spend part of your day at that school, it's almost impossible to have a full-time job. I work a part-time job. I work a part-time job and then I go to school and I'm lucky enough that I can fit in some extracurriculars in there. I don't have time to work 40 hours a week. Therefore, I don't have the money to be able to pay for everything. To pay for my rent, to pay for my schooling, to pay for my phone, to pay for my car insurance, to pay for my health, to pay for food, to pay for gas. So many things. I can't, I can't afford those things because I have to be going to school and I'm not gonna drop out of school because I'm a senior now. And the last three years would have been pointless. But I am fortunate enough to have scholarships and because of these scholarships, I've been able to pay for things as if I'm the one paying for them, as if I'm the one who's working for them and paying for them and my parents don't have to worry about them. To me, it's time to leave the nest and in my situation, this is what I think. For other people who are in different kinds of situations, you may have a different idea of when it's time to leave this. This is mine. Once you have graduated and you have a full-time job, then you should not be taking any money from your parents. No money at all. None. You are independent now. You graduated, you have a job. Go out into the world and prosper. This reality though, for me, it's a long way off. <laughs> I still have a year and a half in college, undergrad, undergrad, and then for me to be able to get the job that I want, the job that I've been in school for, I have to go to school some more. I am confident that when I get this job and when I do graduate, that I'll be able to take on the expenses that I haven't been paying for. I can transition from being partly dependent on my parents into being a fully functional, independent adult who pays for every little thing in her universe. But I am so thankful to my parents for the money they do give me. I am able to live a lifestyle that I am comfortable at. I am able to survive and enjoy my life while I can. <laughs> before, that I, before I go and get trapped in that job that will be just a cycle of hell for 40 years of my life. Sounds like so much fun. What do you guys think? In your situation, when do you think it's time to leave the nest and be completely independent? Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome.